So uh, let's try to rank these following compounds from highest to lowest boiling point. So um, I guess if we're starting with the highest boiling point things, the first thing we want to do is distinguish between organic and inorganic compounds, okay? Or covalent and ionic compounds, if you want to think about them that way. Um, ionic compounds are always higher boiling point, okay? So they've got like boiling points in the thousand degrees, something like that. And then we got to ask ourselves, what's the molecular weight of those two? Right, so KCl is higher than NaCl. So we go KCl, NaCl. So this is first, highest, second. Okay. And now when we look at the other four molecules here, we see that these three, C6H14, C16, H38, and CH4 are all hydrocarbons, so it means they're all nonpolar. Okay? Nonpolar things always have a lower boiling point than polar things. Okay? So water actually is very, very polar. So it's going to be the next highest boiling point thing. This one's a higher molecular weight okay. than this one. Okay. And then we got here um, the last thing, since they're all hydrocarbons, we need to think about molecular weight. So, which one's the highest in molecular weight? It's this one. So, that one's the next highest in boiling C16H38. C6. H14, and then finally CH4. Okay. 